Islamic terrorist group Hezbollah launched over 200 rockets and 20 drones towards northern Israel on Thursday, July 4. This action was in response to an Israeli Defense Forces strike in Lebanon the day before, which resulted in the death of one of Hezbollah's senior commanders, according to the Times of Israel. As reported, sirens sounded in communities in northern Israel, July 4, as Hezbollah launched a major attack. It was one of the largest in the nine-month conflict. Hezbollah fired 200 rockets and 20 drones towards the Golan Heights. One Israeli Defense Forces soldier was killed in the attack, and two others were injured. The Israeli army stated that some of the rockets were intercepted by the Iron Dome, and most of the drones were intercepted by fighter jets and ground-based air defense systems. The attacks caused fires, including one reported at a shopping center in Acre near Haifa, caused by debris from intercepted drones. In response to the attack, Israeli fighters struck several Hezbollah rocket launchers in southern Lebanon and additional targets in the cities of Ramya and Hula. On July 3, the Israeli army launched a strike on southern Lebanon, targeting and eliminating one of the senior commanders of the Islamic terrorist group Hezbollah, Mohammed Nasser. Sources in Lebanon reported that he was responsible for part of Hezbollah's operations on the border. Nasser held a position of similar rank and significance to Talib Abdullah, a senior commander who was killed in an Israeli strike in June. In a statement, the Israeli military indicated that Nasser and Abdullah were two of the most significant Hezbollah terrorists in southern Lebanon.